it's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk. Welcome back, guys, and thanks for tuning in. And today we got kind of a little monster. This is a tank that I'm revisiting in the Hunter Battle Challenge. Played it a long, long time ago to grind through. It's a Chinese TD T34-2GFT. It's a Tier 7, and I had forgotten this, but it's carrying a 390 Alpha gun. It is a lot like the 122-44, and in fact looks a bit like it, although this is a Tech Tree tank and not a Premium. So it's lugging around 390 Alpha at Tier 7. We have a Tier 7 battle here, and we got Tier 5s to beat up on. We're on proc. So initially, I'm thinking I'm going to go be the Sniper TD. Well, you know, it's lower tier with 5, 6, and 7s. You don't really know what you're going to get. I am in a Casemate TD, so the 1-2 line seems like it's place to be. But if you will notice what's going on here... For those of you that know, you know, right? Just watch it for a little while. I want you to just look at the mini map and you can start thinking right now about what the problem is with this particular deployment and how it might go poorly. Be really nice if the ELC BIS got up there and got some lights. I mean, I like where he is, although the Covenator's in a better spot, sort of. Covenator's in a spot where if somebody comes up into the little dip, he probably gets auto spotted. We do find their Tiger P, that's their big bad heavy. Unfortunately, I can't get a shot on it because there's too much terrain in the way, and he's pretty far back there. He also appears to be on the inside of the road, which is a bit odd, and he doesn't really lose any hit points. Now, notice where the T-150 just showed up, and this is where I'm sort of looking at this going, great, this is just, this is not great. We have a lot of guys on the 1-2 line. Our Tiger P is going over on the other side. We have nobody on the 5-6, right? That's what I'm alluding to, what I've been kind of getting at, and I'm sure most of you see it that we've got a problem. This is a problem. The 5.6 is uncovered. It's just not good. One of the problems is you don't have any support for your hill guys and slowly I have two heavies going that way which is not great. They did send their Leo up there. The enemy team did. Or Leopard, sorry, not Leo, but the Leopard. So their light tanks up there. And I'm just looking at this thinking, okay, if we don't get something going on over here pretty quickly I'm probably going to have to react. That's a good kill. And that's why I kind of hung out here for a little while longer. I said, all right, hill guys are doing okay. They do have the Scorpion down there on the 6-7 column. He's sort of helping out. But this T-150's got me a little bit worried here. And it's not that the t 150 is going to push over and push into your backfield and cause problems or even really spot too much. It's that he is unopposed... And other than some snipers across from the map from the 1-2 column, he can come up and start schwacking our guys that are on the hill trying to push up and over. And because it's the big bad Tiger P and a heavy and a medium, I start to get the feeling that they feel like they can push up and over and take these guys on. It's not necessarily a bad plan, except for they don't have any fire support on the 5-6 line. And that's where I finally decide, all right. Look at them pushing. So they're pushing. And I'm late. I would have loved to have been there because I probably could have kept a few of them alive. So I was sort of kicking myself at this point thinking I should have moved to the 5-6 line. It was so irritating though, to be quite honest, that... And finally, this is how it is, right? As soon as you start moving, then things start to break open on the flank you were on. So I was kicking myself that I hadn't moved earlier. And then when I did move, I'm kicking myself because I'm not there shredding the Tiger P. <laughs> So it's just a bummer. We lose some guys. We lose a, a Tiger P, and all of a sudden they own the hill, and this is not good at all. This is when RNG gives me a little something, something. We just drop that over like a softball, and somehow it lands on the poor Ram too. But their JP was over there, guys. That's where some of the horsepower came from that killed our dudes off. We get some. We get the T150 lit, and this was this was fantastic right here. Right, he had been able to poke up and over without getting lit early. He was being lit, but he came up and over thinking there was nobody opposing him and absolutely gets shredded by these guys. And now I'm thinking, all right, how do I kind of cut off this push or on the 9-0 column? Then I see this going on, so I'm hoping I can come over here and get some shots on these guys. Tiger, P oh no, we got some terrain in the way and we get lit, not good because there's a super Hellcat right behind me. Dive back down here, getting chased by Artie, of course. Thinking that this Super Hellcat might make a move, but I don't think he's going to. Oh, look at this, RBFM. All right, he's out in the open. We'll take this opportunity to shoot him. Nice. Got a nice 391. You got to like that, 370, 379. I mean, this is a Tier 7 dropping 379 with a hit. 
absolutely fantastic. Not particularly great gun handling on it. Already still lobbing shots at me. The P43 seems to be holding his own, and now we got the dynamic thing going on on the map up there. Down goes there, Tiger P. That works. We're looking good, right? We got 8 to 3 right now. This is looking great. Only 713 damage, 535 assist. I figured I was spotted there, but apparently I was not. This surprised me, though. I find their AT2 right here. Okay, we'll just shoot him on the way in. It's got decent mobility, not amazing. The AT2 actually puts 408 HE on me, if you can believe that. <laughs> Derps me in the side. <laughs> and we drop him with two shots. A four or a 370 and then another 220. Hellcat's coming in. What's he, Artie? I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to kill this guy without getting killed. Artie just nukes him. There, already misses me. Now we've got this dude down here. We'll zoom in. Not the fastest zoom. Good enough for that right there to kill him off. And we'll keep on trucking. 1,390 damage, 697 assists, 3 kills. Again, it's not an example of this tank either carrying or doing a whole bunch of damage. But it's got decent mobility. For a tier 7, it really hits hard. The accuracy is okay, especially close in, like you saw most of those shots were. Not a problem. And it's compact. Good camo, compact, decently fast for a casemate. Really has a lot going for it. And, and it can snipe. It's, it's, I say it can snipe. It's slightly indifferent on the sniping in the sniping field just because its accuracy is kind of crap. It is a 390, right? Alpha 122. The, the Soviet 122 is not exactly known for its accuracy. But it can get the job done. I think I'm going to find a dude right here. At least I thought I was. Pretty sure I get both of these last two kills. It's going to increase my damage to something a little bit better. We've got the HE selected even though it lets me down all the time. We'll cross here. I'm really just hoping he finds me. There we go. So that guy's just way back there. Watch this little lead fire shot. I'm trying to back up and get this thing set up. Boop. <laughs> just absolutely catch the edge of it. We're going to stay high, just in case I need to shoot down into that little ditch that's right there. I'm kind of thinking that's where that M44 is. Just haven't been able to get close enough to see him. Hmm. Where is this guy? Ah, there he is. Not in the ditch. He's in the bush. Boom. Another HE shell in the end. 1,777, 697 assists. We got five kills out of it. That's something you'll get with a 390 Alpha gun, which actually has a relatively fast reload, considering it's a tier 7 TD. It's quite fast. That's where I kind of get the combination of the Su 12244. I think we'll reload, reload a 390 Alpha shell in like six seconds. This thing's not too far off of that. So really nice rate of fire and alpha and DPM out of a compact, decently mobile tank. Not great gun handling overall, but this, this seems like a little monster. It's, I think it's a bit of a hidden gem, to be quite honest. If that's your play style, we ended up with a 2300 total here, 2400 total. Not bad for just a little outing in these what is this thing it's got a lot of letters and numbers t34-2g space ft chinese tier 7 td tank have a have a think about it man i'm not telling you it's the best td they're certainly not doing the best in the stats it's in the bottom half but not down at the bottom but i, I think just from casemate td gameplay this is not a bad one not a bad one at all that's all i've got for today guys have a great one and we will see you